Hey guys, what's up? It's been a minute since I last did a hair video for you guys. Today, it's time to update this mess. I know it doesn't look like that much of a mess right now, but it's just because I straightened them. Hey Siri, was heißt Blumenkohl auf Englisch? Auf Englisch heißt Blumenkohl. Actually, I, I look like a cauliflower right now, but I just didn't have the time in the midst of moving to take proper care of my hair. But now I feel like I owe myself a little self-care moment. As you can see, these roots desperately need some work done. And also a little trim couldn't hurt. The ends are feeling dry because it's getting so cold outside these days. And I was asking you guys on Instagram a couple of weeks ago for some new hairstyle inspiration to maybe get some new ideas. And Jotaros just know me too well. Most of your messages were about Blackpink Lisa's new hairstyle. When I first saw her pictures with the hairstyle, I was like, Hello there. That's what you're gonna try out next. So you guys kind of read my mind. I've been really getting into Blackpink over the past year. It's just so crazy to see what they accomplished as a group, as well as each member individually. They all have like their own path they're going. It's just very inspiring. But before we get into it, a lot of you guys have actually been asking where I get my phone cases from. They are from Caseify and they were cute enough to sponsor today's video. For those of you who haven't heard of them yet, they have the widest selection of phone cases. For example, their recent BTS Butter collection, which was so amazing. They had the cutest designs, but unfortunately it's been sold out so fast that I couldn't get my hands on it. Maybe next time. But there is a black pink collection about to drop soon. You might keep an eye on that. My absolute face were these super cool printed flight ticket cases. So whenever I miss Korea, I can at least pretend that I'm going on a trip. This one right here is an impact case and this one is an ultra impact case. Both are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials and despite being so protective they're just 13 millimeters thin so they don't feel heavy or bulky at all. And here you get these little impact absorbing bumpers on the four corners so if you drop your phone every day like Dungin, these are the ones for you. I also got myself these two super cute customized cases with my name and my initials on it. You can choose from matte, sheer and clear cases, different colorways and endless print options. They all feature a special coating that keeps them 99% germ free which is really nice to have nowadays. I think they definitely make a super cute gift for friends and family. If you're looking for some real quality cases to keep your phone and even yourself safe, definitely check out my link down below in the description box. It's caseify.com slash Farina Joe and you will save 15% off your order. Okay, let's get back to business. We're gonna take a look at Lisa's photos first. This one, it's just so cute. I really love her hair color. It's definitely darker than it is right now. It is a bit shorter than mine, three or four centimeters. I don't want to cut it too short because right now I can make a cute little tiny bun and I really like it. It's just so convenient. And I need to do something about my bangs. Her bangs are not so much see-through, so I will just add a few more hairs in them. Cut it like this, I guess. Okay, first things first, roots. Oh, if you want one of those super cute knitted cardigans, you should definitely check out Hey Ace on Instagram. I'm a bit annoyed that I waited for so long. It's always much harder to get the color right whenever they're, they've grown out so much. It's way easier to get an even tone when it's just like a few centimeters. So it will most likely turn out a bit yellowish, but that's fine. We're gonna cover it with a nice pink anyways. What was the ratio again? I will keep this part short, guys, because this will take a while. Mm, yes, it's very satisfying. I really built myself the weirdest hair dyeing setup here. You guys should see this. I think it's just impossible to dye your roots without seeing the back of your head, so I had to get creative. A few moments later. Oh wow, that's a nice look. Looks like someone cut away the top of my head. <laughs> this should have been my Halloween costume. Also guys, can you believe it? The BTS members have their own Instagram accounts now. It's actually my main hobby now to stalk their seven accounts daily. It's just so interesting because every account just has their very own personal touch to it. Like V's account is really artsy and model-like, you know, JK's username. I think it's the alphabet without J and K, right? Also Jin, I love Jin so much, oh my god. He always makes me laugh, worldwide funny guy. Oh god, my arms, my arms are always getting so sore. It feels like vlogging at a BTS concert. Looking like Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll rinse it out in like 20 minutes and then I'll be back. 
you can already see it turned out really nice. I'm using a little bit of oil. Yeah, it's a bit patchy here, but I can live with that. But it's funny how there's still a blue undertone. It's still the blue color from the Jimin look I tried. It turned out nice. I'm, I'm satisfied. So I got myself this Rosé color by Arctic Fox. I always wanted to try out this brand because I've heard such good stuff about it. It wasn't so easy to order it here to Germany. Right now, worldwide shipping is chaotic. Oh, that looks good. Look at this. We have to go a bit darker. We're gonna add a bit of flamingo pink. Can you see the difference? We're gonna mix and see what we, what we get. Wow. It smells like bubblegum. So if it doesn't turn out like Lisa's pink, it's fine. It's an experiment. I think it's the pinkest pink I've ever put on my hair. But even if it looks funny, it fades. I'm gonna start here. Ah, it's extreme. Oh no, don't. Don't do this. It looks neon pink though. Guys, okay, so what have I done? <laughs> well, so far it doesn't look like Lisa's pink at all, but <laughs> my ends are a bit blue. That's pretty though. I like lavender. This is stressful, guys. Oh my god, this is way too pink. What am I gonna do? This is not looking like Lisa's golden raspberry pink. <laughs> This could either turn out really cool or just weird looking. So far, so good. <laughs> I look like a clown. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Wish me luck. Are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> this is the color. I like it. It's definitely lighter than Lisa's color, but that is probably because her base color was already darker than mine. In the back, it's a little bit patchy. I don't know if you can see it up here, but only a tiny bit. So all in all, I'm very satisfied with the color. Lisa has pretty straight bangs like this. Also, I want the bangs to be a bit thicker like hers. Maybe like this. Fatality. Ooh, that's nice. I really just need to trim the ends, I think. Just a tiny bit, not too much. Maybe a bit like this. That looks nice. Please keep in mind that I'm not a professional at all. You know, I'm just eyeballing. Looks much healthier already. <laughs> yes. It's nice for the bottom layer. Is it even? Pretty much. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and the top layer. <laughs> Every time I bleach my hair, they just gain so much volume. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing though. It all looks instantly so much healthier. Okay, I think we're done. How does it look? You like it? It feels so refreshing. The question is though, can I still wear a bun? <gasps> well done. Well done, Farina. I mean, it took me, well, five hours. It's a long time, <laughs> but it was worth it. Okay, I hope you had fun with this little hair session. I definitely did. So if you guys like this video, leave a like as always. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I see you next one. Bye.